Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent and today we're doing a series that we haven't done for probably about six months. Um, but it is the Becoming the Beast, Beast Moon Completionist, basically. Um, it's been a long time, but we have finally got enough reagents and Lunari to craft the next tier of the robes. Um, previously, we have crafted the first tier, which is the Blooming, the Blastery, the Brisk, um, the Infamous, the Morbid, Simmering, Steady um, ones. Uh, obviously, we're going to go through and craft all of them. It kind of ties into the Completionist Crafter, but also during the series, we will also be um, upgrading all of the Beast Forms. Since last time, they have also added a whole bunch more, so we are even more further behind. Um, and we are also trying to get all of the badges, which there are now 110 of, not 90-ish, um, I think there was last time we recorded this. Um, but yeah, as you can see, currently we don't have too many. Um, I have... I think we've got another Death Ninja Pig one in between. I'm not 100% sure if I showed that one on camera or not, but we have. Um, and we've also done a lot more wins as well. Um, we're currently up to the Beast Moon Myrid Meridian? I assume that's how you say that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're currently working on the 50 matches to win for the next badge. Um, but yeah, we generally stream this um, once when it's out, um, which is once a month generally. Um, either here on YouTube or on my Twitch channel, which is linked in the description as always, which you can go follow for extra streams and stuff. Um, but yeah, Actian, hello. We are today crafting the Balanced Beast Moon Plate, the Deathly Robe, uh, Deathly Beast Moon Plate, sorry, um, the Fiery Beast Moon Plate, um, the Icy Beast Moon Plate, the Lively Beast Moon Plate, um, I've just got a list of them because it's been a long time and I didn't quite know the second tier off by heart. The, uh, mythic one. And what's the last one? The stormy, I guess. Yeah, stormy. Boom. Um, so those are all what we're crafting today. All seven of these. Um, so yeah, this took forever. I can tell you this took ages. Um, like six months worth of work, I think, since the last episode. Um, that was loud. Don't know why that was a sound. Um, but the best way that I have gone about getting most of the Eldritch thread that is needed, we needed to get 350 of it to craft all of these at once, um, is to plant some Beast Moon seeds. These are just the Beast Moon blossoms, but I generally focus on the elemental ones or the spirit ones, which you can go and buy from the reagent vendor that we were just at just before. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get right in and just craft these because I know that's all what you're here for me crafting stuff because apparently that's what my channel is now <laughs> me crafting stuff equipment's crafting station um uh now I need to find these through everything else the balance beast moon plate um is 50 eldritch thread um 10 balance thread and obviously the steady beast moon plate which we already had we've crafted that last time um balance thread I would recommend planting the balance um seeds uh, which you can go and get the recipe from from the same vendor that we got this recipe from. But there we go. There's one of them done. Uh, nice. And the blooming. Uh, not the blooming. The balance. The deathly one. Which is here. Um, it needs 50 eldritch thread. Again, like I showed just before. Spirit thread. Um, plant the spirit seeds. Um, and then obviously the morbid beast moon plate. Boom. There's number two done. Uh, next is fiery. Which is this one here. Um, same for the Eldritch Thread, 50 of it, and 10 Elemental Thread, and just plant the Elemental Seeds for that one. Or, there is also a chance you can win it during the games as well, but they don't really drop much, so if you want it, I would recommend planting it, because you can do that no matter what, whenever you want to. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be as the Beast Moon Hunt is on. Um, Icy, again, exactly the same as the Fire one, except, obviously, the Brisk Beast Moon Plate, which we crafted last time. Um, lots of these are basically the same recipe except changed for um, either elemental or spiritual or and just with the different um, base uh, plate which obviously for the lively is the, more, uh, the blooming one which again we crafted last time spirit thread same as the uh, death one um, and then also eldritch thread the same as all of the others and then the mythic one which is the exact same as the life one except with the infamous beast moon plate which again we crafted last time and the last one is stormy which is the same as the fire and ice one except with the blustery beast moon plate so boom there we go that is all of them created and now we are at six eldritch thread which is great um i don't quite know how many lunari we have um but we might just head over there just to see if we can actually upgrade anything i don't think we can um simply because lunari is 
really annoying to get. Really, really annoying to get. Um, I would love to upgrade my Death Ninja Pig one more time because that seems to be the one that I most like doing. Um, so I'd kind of like to get him to max level ASAP. That's probably the next thing we will focus on, just leveling up the Death Ninja Pig, just simply because that's one that I use all the time. I really like the playstyle of it. Um, and then we'll probably go to the ones that we've already done, like the Balanced Cyclops, and get him up to max level. As you can see in our Reagent tab, um, we have quite a few Beast Moon stuff. We have um, a lot of Moonstones, which he needed to craft the seeds. Um, but we've got a lot of idols as well, like a heap of idols. So we should possibly be able to upgrade some of them. It just depends if we have enough Lunari, which is frustrating to get, as I said. Um, the best way for me that I've found to get Lunari is either complete the events, uh, not these ones. You can get it from the Scroll of Fortune, um, but the Beast Moon Hunt also gives Lunari here 150 generally each time. Um, plus it also gives this, which... No, it's just an idol. Um, sometimes it has an upgrade, which will give Lunari as well. Um, and that's the same for the Scroll of Fortune. If it's an upgrade like this one, Unlock Storm Rat Thief Form, does that get? I think that gives Lunari as well from memory. Should scroll through, maybe. If not, then I'm bad. Um, nope, not that one. Not that one. Um, some of them do. Some of them do, I swear. I swear some of them do. There's 50 to Lunari that you could have gotten. Um, this one? Oh, there's 25. But yeah, I have gotten a lot of Lunari from the uh, this event, uh, the th thing as well. This the Scroll of Fortune, that's the word that I'm looking for. Upgrade, Rat, Storm, there we go. That also gives Lunari. So the upgrade ones also give Lunari as well. Um, so yeah, that's the best way. And also winning matches and stuff. We can, let's see. I don't know, we need to upgrade the tier, I believe. Yeah, um, we don't have enough Lunari for that. Uh, we also do not have enough reagents. So we are going to go to the Cyclops and see if we can upgrade tier. We cannot have that. Uh, what else do we have? The Draconian. I saw we had a lot of those. Um, we do not have a Beastman Idol. That's fun. Um, hmm. I don't I don't quite understand the um, difference between the idols. I assume if you have a gold one, you're allowed to unlock it. I'm assuming that's how it works. I don't quite know what gold ones we have. So let's, we've got a balance wolf so let's try that let's try that where's the wolf balance wolf we should be yeah we can okay and then we can just buy it okay and then we can upgrade it with um x amount of lunari so there we go tier one to tier two it also increases the level the level you shouldn't upgrade the level anymore it's not useful um it's just a waste you also get special event points as well for doing that and we got the balance warrior uh two badge so we're now at 11 of 110. So if anything, we did at least one thing today. Um, but yeah, we've got the Balance Wolf Warrior 1 and 2. Um, and obviously we can go on more and more, but we don't have enough Lunari. We've basically spent it all now. Um, so yeah, that is all we've got time for today. Um, or all the Lunari we have time for today. Uh, but next time we will try and max out some more of these. Probably the Death Ninja Pig will be my next focus. Um, and also keep continuing crafting the robes. Uh, I can't remember what the next tier is, but I think it will be probably wintry Would be next for the Yeah, this tier which does give the cool cape which I really want for um, most of my characters um, But yeah, we need a lot more El Eldritch Thread. So yeah, it'll be a wee while But um, anyway, thank you for watching everybody. Thank you for stopping by um, Wish me luck and I will catch you all in the next episode so remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, press the little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.